Hi, everybody. Very excited to be here. The last time I attended a uh, conference in person was in 2019 in OpenStreetMap, Neapolis. So that time was, like, I flew all the way from Israel. So this time it was only what, like six hours from Santa Barbara where I'm doing my postdoc in Spala and the geography department, UC Santa Barbara. And today I'm going to speak about simplifying open street map data, reducing multi-lane street to single lane. So what did motivated me, it motivated me to address this challenge. So in Spalab, we are interested in any practical, conceptual ideas that can promote active transportation, like walking or biking, so on. For example, you can see, you can see this two amazing project, which is crowdsourcing map that people all over the globe can share their, their personal experience about um, uh, collision or near miss or death of bites or any uh, any walking issue, um, uh, walkability issues on the street using walk road maps. Uh, and one of our our project is in collaboration with researchers from Israel and from Italy. And and in that project, we try to. Uh, generate the neighborhood walkability in the indices by street level assessment. So, so, so for this project, we need a reliable yet simple state network. Just remember our focus on walking, not all, not on cars. So, so in Tel Aviv, it was quite simple right, to generate this uh, simple uh, uh, network because there is a uh, open source of uh, Tel Aviv municipality with a lot of uh, GIS data that everyone can access the data. But in Torino, Torino was quite difficult uh, or we, don't, we didn't have this kind of open source. So we decided to go to OpenStreetMap. Now, OpenStreetMap is amazing for us. And in OpenStreetMap, the, the goal, as I understand it, is to reflect the the actual reality as much as it possible. Sometimes, for example, in our case, it's too detailed. So we need something more simple. We need every that every part in the street will be uh, presented presented by one lane or just one segment, not main. So I'm going to show you I how we reduce the number of multi-lane street into one single lane uh, while maintaining the topology between the, the street or the connect, connection between the street network. So for this, this example, I'm working with a study of Turin, uh, of Torino, and specifically about this area in this open street map. And then after we're using uh, uh, OSM NX package, which is amazing uh, package to everyone that works with Python with OpenStreetMap, and and we try to, and with uh, with this example, I will show you how we uh, simplified the streets. So the model or the algorithm consists of four main uh, components. The first one is some a preliminary task, which is a remove street or remove segments without name and tunnels. In addition, we also remove uh, a roundabout, but we have to address roundabout later because we need a roundabout, but instead of lines or instead of Segments we need it as a pony, and and also we calculate for each split, for each segment is bearing or as. So here is the result after the uh, after the first step. Just that. 
so a lot of work should be done here. So also, it's only the first uh, uh, data. The second, oh, second component is identified multi lens. So we. Uh, so all, the, all, all of the streets was grouped by their name. And after that, we use DMSCAN to classify uh, each group of uh, segments that belong to the same street uh, uh, into classes based on their azimuth. Uh, for example, this street, we have all uh, three classes. The minus one class is actually not class, but um, a, a outlier. And then for now for each class, which is just a, just a part of the three segments, we translate the street to the right or to the left with a with that, uh, um, and create buffer around the street. If the buffer is um, overlap, other but so other so other state, so that means we have here case of multi -lane. So now when we know that for each strip we have multi lens uh, uh, so we need to fix or to, we need to convert it into one lens. And, and that's lead us to the component number. So I think I'm not going to uh, talk bigly about each step here, but the idea is to take a group of lines and convert them and, and, and make and them make the polygons and then simplify, simplify this polygon. So now we can find the, uh, the farthest points on this polygon and create new line. This new line is the could be the new line, or you can add more vertices to the lines based on the distance between the new line to the original point. I wish I had more time to add figures to this slide. I think it would be much easier to understand. Uh, but let's leave it that way and continue the result we have. So this is the case in all the last uh, slide and then the result asked. So instead of multi lane, we have single, but we still have many problems. These are the, these, the, the right top is the roundabouts, the missing roundabouts. We need to fix. We have every uh, line could be intersected by each intersection. And this line is not, it's ended in 14. So, and that's so on. So that leads us to the la last component, which is fix or update the node. So we started by, started by update the topology and then uh, the roundabout was, uh, was in the con points and I'm not going to stay now I'm exactly up. We did it. And then extending the line and so on. So this one, and it's thanks. So well, let's just look on the last result I have. Again, this one, the data we put out from OpenStreetMap without doing any process. And here we can see the result I'm still all in the process I just trying to describe. It's not perfect, but it's much better than the beginning. And on this uh, the networks, absolutely can start and to calculate vocability index. Other view on the results from all the 
when looking on Italia Torino, the red line is the is the uh, is the original data set. The green one is after uh, the processing. It just uh, I also tried that on Victoria, Canada, because we are working a lot with the data from Victoria. So there, for example, here we can see a lot of red line, but they have also the same street name. So that's the reason they were deleted. And I try also on Richmond. And many streets here was removed because with no name, service name or service road, sorry, or just the talking. And in the middle of the mail we can see the it's bad and we understand why. So as I said before, it's not perfect, but it's much more uh, and then that's the link to the to the code project. And uh, right now it's just code and hope that the next two weeks or three weeks everyone can use it. And so he needs some add some and documentation and so on. And that's it for me. <laughs>